Hi folks, welcome back. I hope you're all doing well. So today I want to take a look at a paper which I was drawn to because I wanted to understand what this new and emerging field of prompt engineering is about. And this paper looks at how to approach that in a more systematized way. You've probably seen a number of large language models get a lot of buzz and popularity lately. Things like GPT-3 for text or stable diffusion and mid-journey for images. And these are all very, very large machine learning models. And the input to these models is a prompt. It's a natural language prompt using which you elicit an output from the model. And that output could be text, as in the case of GPT-3, or even code in models like Copilot, or images in models like Midjourney or Stable Diffusion. Because of this kind of setup, the initial prompt to the model has become a really important thing in order to get good results. What the authors are trying to do in this paper is come up with a more structured system for creating, sharing, managing, and using a large set of these natural language prompts across a very large set of data sets or ML models. And they call their system prompt source. As the title says, they mean for prompt source to be like an IDE for natural language prompts. So to cut to the chase, Prompt Source is a web-based UI, and it lets developers write and manage prompts in a templating language and also view their output on a number of different examples. They have actually made their system and code and all the prompts available on GitHub. And it has, as they say over here, over 2,000 prompts across 170 data sets. The main design principles that guided the system are, first of all, they want a flexible templating language. So these prompts usually have some kind of an overall structure with fill in the blanks or holes for more specific things. And hence a templating language is a good fit for that. Once you have that basic way to construct prompts, you need some tooling around managing prompts, how to view them, edit them, manage a large number of them, and so on. And finally, you need some way to judge the quality of prompts. And what the authors have used right now is a set of community-driven quality standards for prompts. And these guidelines are in prompt source itself. In this series of screenshots, the authors are trying to visualize the entire life cycle of authoring a prompt. So when you start, you want to explore the existing prompts on existing data sets. That's this first screenshot over here on the left. And after that, you want to start authoring prompts. And that will include some kind of documentation. It will include editing the templatized prompt in the template language that prompt source uses. And the author will typically try a few variations. And once they're happy with that, they can review the prompt and see what it finally looks like. So that's the full arc of prompt authoring. One of the key design choices in the system is the design of the prompting language itself. Now, one extreme would be to encode the prompt as freeform code. So you write an entire complex program to output a specific prompt. But this obviously has a lot of complexity in, and it also makes it difficult for downstream consumers or readers of these prompts to quickly understand what these prompts are doing or how they're constructed. On the other side of the spectrum, you can generate prompts with a set of more static or more fixed rules. And that has its own problems because that might not be flexible enough. And so the authors settled on a middle ground, which is basically a templating language. The one they settled on was Jinja or the Jinja 2 templating engine. It's a Python templating library. And though it was originally designed for web markup, it seems to fit this use case pretty decently. So that was a quick look at a project that tries to bring some structure to this new and exciting and emerging field of prompt engineering and how to come up with essentially an IDE for managing a large number of prompts across a large number of data sets and how you can manage the full arc of authoring a prompt from viewing existing prompts to authoring your own and iterating on it to 
then reviewing it and finally committing it into the system. I hope you found that useful and I will see you next time. Thank you very much.